If you do something familiar with something unfamiliar, you put them together, they're not as scary. I think of, and I can envision, like some flavor combinations are the final end product, but I love the reaction of people when they take that first bite. Working with my hands has always been something that even my uh, my grandmother on my mother's side had uh, pointed out to my mom when we had visited in the summer that I was always in with whatever she was doing and everything of course is made from scratch and I just wanted to get my hands into everything. In the evening of February 10th, 2015, I got a call about a shooting and uh, of th some young kids I had just done their wedding a few weeks before. The FBI now joining the investigation in Chapel Hill, North Carolina tonight as authorities ask, was it a hate crime? Police say Barakat, his new wife, Yusor, and her 19-year-old sister, Razan Abu Salha, were shot inside their apartment by their neighbor, 46-year-old Craig Stephen Hicks. I was very upset, uh, confused, and uh, it shook our community. It really shook everybody. They were such amazing kids. Just bright, had so much going for them. After that happened, and I kind of started to say, you know, life's too short, we're never guaranteed anything. And I wanted to teach my kids to go after what they want, to be strong, being a hijabi, Muslim, female, I'm very visible, and I just didn't want fear to stop me from doing anything. Um, and I wanted my kids to know that. So that was a big turning point for me to say, you know what, I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not afraid of failure. I'm not afraid of anybody. I'm going to go after it. And, um, and that's what we did. I like when I see the cafe full of, you know, customers and you look around and it's everybody from all over almost. Like you hear so many different languages, see so many different people. And when we did the desserts, I, I think of flavors. Sometimes people don't recognize, but they hear and they get kind of scared. So I like to put it in, it's kind of like tricking my kids, tricking my customers to try something new. One of our most popular items is our baklava cheesecake. Our tiramisu do that a little bit different using Turkish coffee rather than espresso. And that also has a little bit of cardamom, but it's one of our top selling tubs. I look at where I am today in, in the cafe and I'm just like, wow, I, I'm, I am proud. My oldest is, sometimes will tell me like, does it feel real? Like, you did this. <laughs>